What? No installation? Well, you should know this by now. I show disassembly. Um, sometimes I'll show the assembly side of things uh, when it's a straightforward repair or job. Uh, people have their own way of doing things. Uh, I don't want to interfere with any the way things are done by somebody else. I don't want somebody to follow my instructions, forget to do something, miss an important step, get into an accident, hurt themselves, and then come after me. That's one of the reasons why I don't show installation part of things, especially on timing belts, uh, engine crucial stuff, safety-wise, brakes. Um, that's another one, and that's another reason why. Um, the funny thing is that uh, there are a lot of YouTube channels out there that are more popular than mine that show a lot less in terms of even disassembly. Uh, they'll just skim over stuff and yet those channels are more popular than mine um, get all the credit so to speak and whatnot and that's not really the point of my video or in terms of my rant little rant here I don't really care about those other channels uh, the way I record is with my video glasses so you get that first person perspective um, I think in my mind that's the best way to see something in terms of the work that's being done. Yes, a lot of stuff you can't see because of the angle, because the camera's not looking down, but as long as you're following along with what is being done, you get a general idea of what I'm doing. I'm removing a brake caliper. Uh, there's two bolts. You don't have to see exactly where they are. Uh, I mentioned what tools are required. As long as you know the tools and you can get a general idea of where I'm working, you'll be able to figure things out when you work on your own vehicle. Um, service manual. A lot of people are working without a service manual. Why? It's a single first investment that you want to invest in before you even work on a car. You read what you want it, what you read about what you're going to do. Then you maybe watch a video on how to do it. With those two things, keep getting interrupted with those two things you have a good idea of what's being done what needs to be done before you even do anything uh, lifting the vehicle safely that's another thing that you have to worry about and again that's in sort of in my description as a disclaimer uh, people not lifting their cars correctly car falling on them they getting hurt um, these are all things that could come back and haunt me uh, everybody else has got disclaimers everywhere, you know. Uh, people are not thinking when they do things, um, you know, and then, then they try to take advantage, or not advantage, they try to uh, blame the person that told them how to do stuff. I'm not telling anybody to do anything. You're watching me work. Um, sorry if this is turning into a rant. Um, I just need to make people aware of... I can't be responsible uh, for what you do to your car, to yourself. Uh, I'm providing these videos at a gen as a general rule of thumb or a guideline or, you know. You're watching me work. That's what it says in the first four seconds of my video intros. So that's all it is. I, these are not do-it-yourself videos. I'm not teaching anybody to do anything. I'm, I'm working an eight-hour day. My videos are a, a glimpse of what I'm doing throughout, it, throughout the day. So don't take these things as 100% on how to do something. Uh, everybody does things differently. Um, so don't blame me for something that I'm doing different from somebody else. If I'm using the wrong products, uh, everybody has their own penetrating oils, their own lubes that they like to use. Um, everybody does things differently. Am I ranting yet? Yes, I am. So anyways, service manual. Buy a service manual. Read the service manual. Watch some videos. You don't just have to watch mine. Watch somebody else. Um, see what they say. See what they do. There, are, I'm sure there are better videos out there than mine, so feel free to to uh, surf those, follow those, um, but that's it, and um, I just want to say that's the reason why, for the most part, I don't show installation 
videos or the ins installation part of things um, there's too big too big of a risk uh, for me to show something people not following the instructions um, because I'm again I'm not instructing people on how to do stuff uh, I'm showing a general overview